Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Life as a Stray part number one. So I'm super excited to be able to bring this Let's Play to you guys. This is the new Let's Play that was supposed to start back at the end of May, but it never did because I got extremely busy with school and then my mic broke and it was just one thing after the other. <clears throat> but here we are so we have our sims and i'm going to start by reading the rules so if you guys aren't interested in that i highly recommend skipping ahead and um i'm sure sometime or another i will start the actual let's play this is the most boring part and i will try to remember to leave these rules down below i'm actually at the beach when you guys watch this so if the link isn't up there it will be as soon as i get back but these rules I found on Mod The Sims. I'm sure there are several versions of these rules, but these are the ones I'm going by. Life as a stray, abandoned by your loving owners, or simply born onto the streets, your life as a stray pet will not be easy. This relatively quick challenge is about surviving as a family of stray pets for three generations. Our goal is to start with a founder pet or pets. As you can tell, I have both dogs and cats and have their descendants survive for three generations of strays. The challenge ends with the grand when the grandchildren of your original pets reach adulthood. Starting out, it is highly recommended that you start a new game for this challenge, which I have set pet lifespan to something that you are happy with, or the puppy and kitten stage must be at least three days. Create a sim, looks, personality, aspiration can be anything. You will not be controlling the sim. I will introduce you guys to our non-controllable sim in Whenever I finish this, create your pets. You may begin with two pets, male and female. I've actually decided to do both cats and dogs for this Let's Play because I thought it'd be a lot more fun than just doing dogs or just doing cats. And I have made it a little bit easier on myself by adding a male and a female of each. Sorry. <laughs> um, set them to roommates of the same species. What? Set them to roommates. Um... Okay, wait, let me reread that. Create your pets. You may begin with two pets, set them to roommates of the same species, but for a harder challenge, you can choose to start with only one. I suggest a female to make bringing in the next generation easier, or two related pets or pets of the same gender. Species must be the same for all pets, but can be anything. Appearance, traits, and breed can be anything you want, and I've kind of went along with the rest of that, but I'm not going to read all that. Move your sims and pets into a house. The house does not have to be anything special. It is merely a place to lock your sim so that they do not interact with your pets. Our sim does not live on this lot. He has his own private house because I am allowed to use mother load for the sim. So I decided to use it to purchase him his own lot. It is a male sim. So the following items depend on your species of pets. So basically this is like if you just want to do a dog or you just want to do a cat. And since I decided to do both, I technically can multiply these by two. But the only thing I multiplied by two is the food bowl. So that way both cats have one food bowl, bowl and then one, both dogs have one food bowl. So you may have one pet toy crate, which is this thing right here. I decided to leave it at one because I don't really think we need two. You may have one pet food bowl. I multiplied those by two and I've already had the sim fill them up for the one and only time they may. We may have one pet house. I did leave it at one pet house. I'm so bad at controlling this. I did leave it at one pet house um, because like I said, I don't think we need two. And we may also play place three on various slots. I was going to, but I decided since we're just going to have them probably breed together, I don't really see a point in having them on other lots. And we may have one scratching post for the cats. So I got that bad boy over there. And we may have a pond. So because I decided not to do horses, I, am, I don't have like the loose box or anything. Instruct your sim to fill a single food bowl. Get them inside and delete all stoves and doors. What? Why would we delete the stoves? So they cannot leave the house or interact with the animals. Have your pets survive. Cats can hunt for food and eat anything they find. I did kind of cheat a little bit. Our uh, lighter colored dog right here. She has level one of the hunting skills simply because I can't have, I'm not sure how to like automatically give it to her through NRAS. So I just went ahead and let her get level one because like that's the only way I know how to give them level one. Um, 
Dogs can beg, horses can graze. For social, they can interact with one another or other sims. Scratch and destruction are easily taken care of by objects in the homes of neighbors. The items you bought in step four or on newspaper. Um, in order to complete the challenge, you must have at least two litters of offspring. Easy enough when you have two pets of opposite genders, but what if you start with a male or are the second or are in the second generation, which is going to be a little bit tough. The pets of neighbors, wild horses and strays, are your best option for female pets in the second generation. With male heirs, you have a few options. Breed the heirs' parents until you have a female heir to make it easier. If you become best friends with a female pet in town, either a stray or an own pet, they may decide to join your pet in their life as a stray, using testing cheats to add them to your family. If you make three pet friends outside your household, you may direct your sim to adopt a female adult pet of the current species. If your household gets too full for one reason or another, you may have grown up offspring run away, be given up for adoption by your sim. You can only do this if you have five or more pets. Well then. <laughs> Rules. Your pets are not allowed to sleep in the house of any sim. The food bowl may be filled up once throughout the whole challenge. If you're playing with points, you may fill it again, but this will incur a point penalty. I don't believe we're going to play with points because I'm going to forget. <laughs> Dogs and cats may only drink water once a day. Pick a time, say once. Okay, so the time can be once they wake up in the morning and stick to it. Even so, they may only drink water if they do not have the very hungry moodlet. You may only let their hunger bar be refilled by a quarter when they drink. Your pets may not stay in one place for more than 12 hours. If they arrive somewhere in the day, they must leave before nightfall. If they arrive at night, they have to leave before dawn. Your sim may not leave the house or be controlled. The only time you may control them is to adopt a necessary pet or to give a pet up for adoption when you have too many. If your sim becomes an elder, you may adopt a child sim who will be aged up to a teen immediately and then locked in the house. The team will be under the same restrictions as parents. Money cheats and building cheats are fine. Buying extra furniture is not. Cats may only catch two fish per cat per day. These fish can be caught by any cat. The challenge ends when the third generation becomes adults or when pets die or are taken away. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I will, like I said, try to remember to leave these uh, this link in the description. And we're going to go ahead and get started by giving you guys an introduction to our pets. Now, naturally, I can only tell the two dogs apart. I can't really tell the two cats apart. So, we're just going to have to do it like this. Um, it's Monday because I, this challenge has been ready for about four months now. I just haven't gotten around to recording it because starting a Let's Play, to me, is like always the hardest thing. But this is our first cat. Okay, they're not in the right order. This is our first cat. Her name is Luna. She is a genius. She's neat and she's quiet and she is the female. Um, ooh, I didn't do that right. Hold on. I've changed the dog, adult, 35, 6, and 14. 6, 35, and 17. Let's bump that down to 14. I may increase the adult more. I just haven't decided yet. Um, okay, so we have Luna. She's a genius. She's neat, and she's quiet. And it's just her. Ace will soon be her mate, but uh, not anytime soon, it looks like. And she's kind of upset. All right, so we have Ace. Oh, they're litter mates? No, they're not. Yes, they are. Oh, snot. They're not supposed to be. Um, I may have to go in and change that. But he is shy, he's piggy, and he is the hunter of the two cats. So he will be catching four fish a day, hopefully. Um, if all that goes well. How does he hunt? How do you teach a cat to hunt? I don't know. Why do I... Why do I not know? Okay, anyways, I'll figure it out. By the way, if you guys have any tips and tricks, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Um, I'm clueless when it comes to stuff like this. Alright, by the way, the cat's last name is Canf Canfield. Um, because I thought of a can of cat food and then fields. So, Canfield. And then we have the Barksdale. <laughs> the Barksdale are the dog's last names. Um, so, we have Dixie Barksdale. And she's the female. She likes swimming. She's very quiet. And she's the hunter. So she will be going out and 
doing her own thing. And then we have Duke Barksdale. He is playful, adventurous, and friendly. And he's just kind of chilling, to be honest. So this is their little lot. The only thing I will allow the Sim to do, uh, this Sim, his name is Owen Harry, is pay the bills for this lot. Because I don't want this getting taken away. And um, so we're going to go meet Owen, who's going to be locked in the house as soon as I figure out how to lock the front door. Um, so he loves to swim. He's a great kisser. He's hot-headed. He's a green thumb. And he's ambitious. He's probably going to get uh, lonely social-wise. Social so I may occasionally turn on testing cheats enable and increase his social um, but hopefully I won't have to do that. So let's go ahead and lock him out on this lot. So we're supposed to delete the door and I'm pretty sure I can put this inside so he can wait. But then how is he going to pay the bills? All right, we'll let him, I give him permission to leave the house. Um, because I don't think it's fair that he has to stay in there. But the animals are not allowed to do anything with him. So he also is a deep sea diver. I have no idea what lot we're in. This looks like... What town are we in? Oh, I know this town, but I can't think of the name of it. Hidden Springs? Is that it? Why is that coming to my mind? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is where he lives... And he's just going to basically be taking care of himself. I did have pet free will turned off, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And do that. Alright, so he is set. He has a refrigerator and everything, and uh, we're officially done with him. Let's go ahead and start playing. So the first thing I want to do is let everyone drink from the pond, even though their hunger is... Okay, so basically at this point, their hunger is going to be filled up all the way because I eh, maybe a little bit less than all the way but I'm definitely really really excited for this um, I want to conserve their food as much as possible and hopefully that's all good to go all right so we're gonna go ahead and let him stop and let him stop well that didn't really go as planned anyways go ahead and you can pee here and then you can pee here I don't know where your hunger was at. Oh, yeah, I think you're good. I'm not going to remember that it can only be filled a fourth of a way. But I'm going to try to remember um, even if I fail a little bit. So the cats are going to play, and they're just going to do their own thing. I'm going to let him drink, and uh, he's going to scratch. I'm very worried about, you know, like they they do something that they're not supposed to. And if I don't pick it up and notice it, then that could, like, be the end of me. But, I don't know. Um, so, how do we... Destruction. Hmm. How do we do that? Oh, toys. Duh, Hannah. Why have I suddenly forgotten? Why, why can't you get a toy? Oh, man, the boxes. I think it's on a slope or something. I don't know. We're just going to, like, put it out here. Wait, don't I have to open it? No, that's for puppies and kittens. I can't forget that. Um, once all the... Your destruction is fine. You're fine. Okay, everybody looks actually really well. I'm not allowed to put pet beds. Which is very aggravating, but... It's whatever. Um, so what can... Oh, is this our first set of bills? Looks like it. So you may come pay these bills of $9, but that is the only thing I will allow him to do is pay the bills. Um, I don't want him doing anything else on this lot concerning the animals. Uh, how do cats catch fish? Why do I feel... So dumb right now. I don't know. Anyways. Um. Wait, you don't have a stove? Why don't you have a stove? I'm allowed to buy him things if he needs them. 
I didn't even look to see how well his stuff was. Okay, you have a stove. Yeah, you're good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do the auto lights. And set the brightness too bright so that way when he comes in here they come on and then when he leaves they go off so you go do your thing and i will leave him alone until we get another thing of bills um what are you guys doing you guys should play with each other i really feel like this let's play could become boring if i don't really know what i'm doing so hopefully that doesn't happen but be friendly bark at sniff do some socialization all that good jazz. Okay, you guys just can't hang out with each other. Okay, cool. Okay, go here. And, like, go here so you guys can actually talk to each other. Socialize. Sniff. Bark at. How is your friendship? You guys are not supposed to be litter mates. I don't know why that's his litter mates clearly i did something wrong and i don't know how to fix it um household options we're gonna see if we can fix it but i don't believe we can Sim options. Um, not sure if you guys know how to fix that. I don't think it's supposed to really bother us, but uh, um, let's see. I feel like it would be right here somewhere. Okay, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I don't think it should... Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's going to uh, mess them up or anything. So, go ahead and play chase and then goof around. The cats are both sleeping because that's honestly what cats do. Why? How do I make him hunt? How do, how do you hunt, kitty? Go hunt for something. How do you do that? Here we go. Learn hunting skill. Have your sim refine a talent to perhaps... How do you make the cats learn the hunting skill? Goodness gracious. Okay, this is really going to aggravate me. So I'm going to Google it. And uh, while we let the dogs and cats just play. And I'm going to say how to teach a sims 3 cat to hunt this is a very popular google search apparently um guide to hunting okay what are you guys doing they're really just like building their friendship so i'm not against it all right getting a cat Cat life, behavior, fleas, kittens, adulthood, cat hunting skill. Cats get the hunting skill just like dogs, only instead of finding rocks, metals, and gems, they are adapted to hunting for small prey. Cats, all you need to do is... Oh, 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 yes. I knew that. Why? I know how cats hunt. I'm such a... Jeez, I'm such a Sims 3 noob. I need an animal. An animal, excuse me, I don't know why I said uh, animal. I wish we had enough for the pet collector, but that's probably cheating. So, sorry, I don't see any pets. I highly doubt, oh, there's a horse. Oh, it's such a tiny horse. I highly doubt we'll be finding any small creatures anytime soon. But we do need to, uh keep an eye out for them but i think they don't spawn in until a few sim days after or i could be completely wrong and uh this doesn't look like hidden springs i don't believe this town is hidden springs i think i just kind of lied to you guys but uh oh my goodness what if they lived here 
Actually, I think this is supposed to be someone's actual house. But that is the cutest house ever. It looks like this cat just took over the uh, pet house. And it's just, you know, that's his pet house apparently. I hear some birds. Um, I decided not to do this in Appaloosa Plains because a lot of my Let's Plays take place in Appaloosa Plains. And I was just kind of like, mm, not really feeling Appaloosa Plains. So we are in somewhere. Sure wish I knew, but alas, I don't. Even though I probably need to. I will try to remember, again, to put it in the description. Um, no promises. If you guys know, I'm sure some of you, like, instantly know. I used to know, and the, it has completely slipped my mind as to what on earth this map is called. Um... Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. A butterfly. Okay, you can't do dip squat. What are you good for, cat? The humans can catch the butterflies. But you can't. How do you... It says he can hunt small prey, so... I'm searching for small prey, but I do not see any anywhere. Okay, thank you. I do have a sword progression on to allow our other Sim, Harry, Owen. Owen, yeah, his name's Owen. His last name's Harry, my bad. He's kind of got like one of those two first, two first names as a first and a last name. But, uh, let's actually pay attention to our pets, shall we? We shall. Alright, so what are you guys up to? Nothing. Not a thing. What can you do? Get toy, guard object. Oh, he's working on his hunting skill by pouncing on his prey. Hey, Ace, be nice. Be nice to Luna. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Chase. Pounce. Alright, let's let him work on his hunting skill by pouncing on Luna a few times. So that way, since he's level 1, he may actually be able to do something. Or once he becomes level 1, he may actually be able to go eat something. Which sounds disgusting, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Alright. It's kind of hard to, like, not pay attention to him. Because he is still there. He's just not. There we go. Alright, he has learned the hunting skill. So now what? Okay, he can stalk for prey now. So go do that. Luna, you can scratch on the scratching post. Oh, well, you're already going to do that. Never mind then. Okay. He knows what he's doing. He's just like, yes. Oh, look, look, look. <gasps> look. This is so cool. I hardly ever deal with the cat hunting skill. I normally just deal with the dog. This is so cool to me. Look at him. He's like, I'm catching myself a meal. Let's see who wins. Looks like he's getting pretty beat up here. But he is increasing his hunting skill. <gasps> he won! Oh, such a good kitty. Alright, so he can eat it. Right? Present, go present this to Luna. Show Luna what you've done. Luna, are you... Are you hungry? Oh, you may have to learn the... What the crap? Where are you? Okay, you can do that. He's going to present this to Luna, though. So stop scratching. And let him present... Oh! Is she eating it? No, Ace is. <laughs> Naturally. Um, okay, come on over here. Why don't you scratch on this? Actually, I guess you can scratch on the furniture. This kind of... The point. Okay, dogs are 
by the way, there are two of the same Sims in this house because... Whoa, you guys have already made friends. Or, in, not in this house. In the town. Because I accidentally did that. And there's nobody home, is there? Okay, wait. There was a lady walking down the street. Yes, her. Can you beg? Be friendly. Beg. You're hungry. So it's time for you to beg. You might have to beg quite a bit. Is she really? I was about to say, is she really not going to give you any food? Alright, let's beg a little bit more. Because you are pretty hungry. And we will let you beg one more time. Da 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 da. Where is it? Friendly. Beg. No, she was just like. Bye. Okay, cool. What about this deer? Can you. Can you do anything? You can bark at it. Alright, let's go find. Someone's home, so you need to be begging someone. I thought there were, the cats were over here, but they may not be anymore. <laughs> okay, there's not a soul home. Unless I am just going crazy, and I could have sworn the cats were over here. Yes, someone's over here. Oh, they're both over here. Glad that's their furniture and not mine. So what about this house? Okay, this is like a courthouse. <gasps> Sims! Okay, here we go. Come on over here. Come on over here. Oh, you're not supposed to drink. Beg. Beg this lady and you... Come here, come here, come here. Stop. Beg this man several times. Because you're a hungry dog. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Stop. She stopped. Beg. Oh, this is so sad. I don't like that they're having to beg. Naturally, they could eat from the food bowl, but I want to try and save most of that if possible. Here's a raccoon. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna. Okay, you can. We're gonna have to find another Sim. You were going home. Are you still? You are, I believe. Yes, you are. Okay, what about you? Okay. Wait, is it because he's not... No, you're the friendly one. Oh, jeez, go here. Alright, are you still begging this, Sam? You should be. Get all the food you can get. Friendly, beg. Friendly, beg. The cats are pretty much set for food, but... Uh, sniff him. I don't know why it won't let you beg for food. You may not be hungry enough, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, <laughs> Friendly, yeah, he's not hungry enough. Well, he's getting full. No. They left. Okay. How are the cats? Where are the cats up to? The cats are sniffing around. They're being nosy little little sons of guns. Uh, like I would be, basically. Do they have a litter box? How convenient would be if it would be if they had a litter box in here? Go ahead and just... I don't know. Do you want to pee? Yeah, pee. You need to pee. Whether you pee anywhere up to you um what are you doing oh you're full how did you get full did you drink out of the pond what the crap cat unless that oh wait he did eat that turtle i bet the turtle made him full actually so you can head to bed if you wish uh luna don't go to bed in there you have to i'm pretty sure like they have to stay no 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 i'm sorry you have to wait till in the morning I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, stop. I'm sorry. I know. I feel you. this is going to be a tough challenge. I can already tell. But go ahead and head to sleep. You can head to sleep. What are you doing? You're chewing on that toy. Okay, that's fine. 
So, I think this is going to end off the first part. I definitely, I'm recording uh, the first two parts back to back. So, if you guys have any tips or tricks, I will not be able to actually put them into play until after the second part goes live. But other than that, I, uh, I think that's it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this. And I think this is going to be a really fun Let's Play that uh, is going to be fun for me and hopefully fun for you guys. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the part off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you have not already and you did enjoy this part, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to join me on my journey through my Let's Plays. If you would like, you can fo also follow me on all of my social media. The links and information are located down below. Stop can't let you do that and yeah I think that's all so I hope you guys have an amazing day remember that I love you and I will see every single one of you in the next part goodbye guys